Good morning, everyone. This is Rifkel. We are playing some more Pokemon Reborn today, and we're doing our final preparations before we head into the Elite Four. We have finished Victory Road. We have all of our Pokemon geared up at level 100. All we have left is to put together a team and make that run. Before I head out to do that, I wanted to just do a couple things real quick as we're getting close to the end of the uh, the core game. Um, the first one is to say thank you to everyone who has been watching, everyone who volunteered. Um, this has been one of my longest running series, soon to be my longest running series of a single game uh, that I've done on my channel. It's been really well received. I appreciate uh, all of the interaction that I've gotten, all of the new people that have come in. Uh, with that being said, uh, I normally do my call to action at the end. I would just like to take a moment and say, you know, if you have been watching and enjoying this, if you're new and uh, would like to keep getting more of this once I finish Pokemon Reborn. We're not quite done yet. We're still going to be doing post-game. Just saying. Um, please get, uh, you know, give that subscribe. And especially for small uh, content creators, it means a lot. I am hovering right in that area between 450 and 500 where i've been for a little while and 500 unlocks some new features so it, it matters every little bit matters <laughs> um with that out of the way i did so I, I wanted to go through quick and just give this little shout out so Dynamite was our starter. Uh, I haven't done any more versions of Dynamite yet. Thank you to Megatron, Ryan, Drew, The Bagel, Theta, Beltaren, Witch, Jules RM, Mark, Ice Pickle, Metal, Broyten, Nick, Mr. Ed, Samo, Ben, The Way, Gore-Tex, Ashura, Velus, Anevian, Cat, Nimona, Rio, Pete, Ella, Terra, Boone, Kylo, Crocodile, Bry2K, uh, which double shout out to Bry2K for, uh, for being the person to introduce me to this fan game in the first place. We would not have this without him. Beicho, not Brant, Geo, Tassara, that one. Oh, there's the other Megatron. I knew I lost them. Big Fella, Elmway, Ishtar, Shorty Fury, and monkey. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of Pokemon here, a lot of people who have put their names forward and have hopefully been following, getting to see uh, all the versions of them. Uh, as a reminder, when we get to post game, we're going to be getting a bunch of legends. So if you have legends and megas that, if you have not signed up for naming since I added Legends and Megas. Make sure you go do that as well, because uh, we're going to be probably ending up with some pretty crazy teams before we're done. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching the intro. I will go ahead and cut over now to the Elite Four. Okay. That prep was terrifying, <clears throat> and I'm still not 100% sure how it's going to work. The worst part here is that we're prepping for six fights in a row 
So it's the Elite Four, the Champion fight, and then the final story fight. I don't think we're going to be able to change Pokemon between fights. So the team we start with here is the team we're going to have for the rest of this encounter. Uh, I'm pretty sure we at least get a chance to, you know, heal and check our team out in the meantime, like rearrange items and stuff. But that means we need to be able to have a full team that can be functional for all six encounters. Um, Heather is the first member. She uses poison and flying Pokemon on a mountain field. Bennett and Laura use grass and bug types on a flower garden field. Elias uses dragon and normal Pokemon on a holy field, which buffs normal. Um, Anna uses psychic and fairy Pokemon in the starlight arena field. And then the champion will be Lynn. She's got a well-rounded team and doesn't use a field. And then the last battle is on a new world field. And this is the biggest problem. The new world field straight up negates any changes you make to the field or the weather. So this means I, I was starting out thinking about this It's like, okay, well, if we're doing weather, you know, if we're doing, you know, flower garden or mountain, we can, you know, do maybe I'll look at my snow team and we'll be able to bring this in or be able to, you know, bring in like our rain sweeper. No, none of that works for the final fight. So instead of relying on that, we're going the, with the other setup. <laughs> which is Trick Room. Um, oh, did I end up switching this? I did not. EV Tuner. And we're going to change speed into... What do I want? I think special defense. <coughs> and let me double check to make sure I've got all of the all of these set up with the correct natures as well. I guess we're gonna go through them anyway. So we've got Kylo as our trick room setter. Very bulky. I'm hoping that this is gonna. I'm hoping that his physical defense will be enough that we can set this and be okay. I'm a little nervous because a lot of the leads on the opposing sides are special attackers, but I don't feel like most of them have a really strong advantage. So I'm hoping that we can do Trick Room. Uh, we've got Amplified Rock just to make sure it gets set up. For the first fight, um, these items are for the first fight. So some of these might change. Ice Pickle. Ice Pickle is here because I don't want to rely on changing the weather. And the enemies are going to be changing the weather. So we've got Cloud Nine. Ice Pickle uh, is also going to be... Uh, gives a lot of variety in terms of what moves it's, it gets. Um, specifically, I'm looking at Heat Wave and Moon Blast as good coverage moves that I'm not getting anywhere else on this team. Fry 2K. Um, this is a little bit of an oddball to me because I don't think of Ampros as super bulky, but switching his speed over to defense actually works pretty well. So, 
Um, we're starting with Thunder. I know we've been using Discharge. We're not going to be using him in any doubles battles, so I feel like switching this over is fine, specifically because the first two encounters we're going to be able or we're going to be in here, Thunder is 100% accurate. Uh, the other important ones here are Dragon Pulse, which is going super effective against dragons, obviously, and Signal Beam, um, which is good against grass types, psychic types, and gives us uh, a couple of the arenas that we're going to be in get boosted Signal Beam. Vecho. Um, Intimidate is good. Assault Vest is good. Well-rounded. Fake Out. Darkest Lariat gives us covers against Ghosts and Psychic. And U-Turn lets us pivot. Blair Blitz is a good fire move. Pretty straightforward. Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex? No, first of all, Metagross is good. Second of all, um, Meteor Mash. The last two fields that we're going to be in, the Starlight Arena and the uh, New World, both get a boost on Meteor Mash. Um, I feel like that's worth something if we can be doing double damage meteor mashes especially because i know there are some fairy types around in that if we're gonna if we can be faster than them with trick room and just push all that damage out i feel like we'll be in good shape and wrapping it up with Kray Ten. This one was a l this last slot took me a while to figure out. I had some plans about trying to build another Pokemon to try and abuse certain things in the fields. And I finally decided, no, I'm going to keep the Pokemon that I have because Croiton is a good, well-rounded Pokemon. The Trick Room benefits is low speed. It has good coverage. X Scissor is once again good against uh, those psychic types that we're going to be dealing with. And Superpower gives us some fighting move coverage that we don't have otherwise. Knock Off could be useful if there are enemies that have items that I don't want to deal with. Um, I know that there's going to be some scary... There's the potential for some scary items in there. Um, and being able to switch in Kroiten and knock off their uh, their leftovers or something like that could be good. So yeah. That is our team. The other thing that I think makes this team really good is... Every single one of these Pokemon has a Mega Evolution, except Incineroar, which means even though I can't change my Pokemon out between battles, I can really change the feel and flow of the team. Um, like, especially with um, both Ampharos and, um, uh, Altaria, they actually change types even, so really give some good coverage. And I am planning on, or I am already planning on changing them as we go through the Elite Four. This is just, I, I'm not sure why we're starting out with no Megas, but apparently we are. I just don't feel like I need them for this first fight. Um, so yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, 
I did forget one more thing here. So I just noticed that I was doing this. Didn't use any of the these. I, I noticed the superpower had five here. Um, are there any other moves? Are there any other moves that are particularly low? Okay. So, I will say, my biggest concern My biggest concern is that we're going to be running into... If I can't get Trick Room set, we're screwed. That's basically... <laughs> um... <coughs> Let's see... Yeah, that feels good. I'm not super worried. Okay. I just want to make sure any of the 5 PP moves we boost up. By the way, my plan is to save as I go. Because if we die, we have to redo all of the fights. I'm only going to take a death if I feel like there's not... If I feel like I absolutely need to change my team and something isn't working. But then I have to redo all of the previous fights. So it's... It's going to be a lot. <laughs> These gates are for all of the badges. Okay. There's no turning back at this point, so that's why we did what we're doing. Hey! I was wondering when you were going to show up. Geez, do you know of any idea how long I've been waiting up here? I'll give you a hint. It's almost forever. Anna says, Anna said I had to be here for something soon, but then it still took so long. Anyway, uh, to tell the truth, there's something I've been wanting to say to you. I know I've been kind of a brat, but even despite that, you were there to help me out in my metrine. And even though I didn't really understand what was going on at the time, you were there at the doctor's place too. You and Shelly have always done your best for me, even though I never deserved it. I'm not really used to people being so nice to me. I mean, you saw what my dad was like, and I ended up finding his old, an old journal of his. I guess in his own weird roundabout way, he was just trying to look out for me. It's a lot to take in, but I think I understand, even if I don't really know how to handle it. <laughs> you sound like Shelly now. The point is, okay, thank you for trying to help me, even though I... whatever. You don't care about all that. None of that matters. You're here to fight. But if you underestimate me, you'll be blown away. So let's not waste another minute. Salamence, it's takeoff time. Okay. Heather. Wind Maiden Heather. Starts off with her dad's crowbat, which is so awesome. We trick room. <laughs> They tailwind, the tailwind boosts their speed, which makes them even slower in Trick Room. We Psychic. <clears throat> Nitto King. Um, I don't feel like this is a problem. Actually, I think it is a problem and I was wrong. <laughs> I 
Um. I think we. Yeah, I think we switched to Gore-Tex here. We Zen Headbutt. Awesome. Salamence. I think I want to bring Ice Pickle in for this. It Mega Evolves into Mega Salamence, but it's still four times weak to Ice Beam. So, it is what it is. Gyarados. Time for the Bright 2K Sweep. Mountain Strength in the attack, 100% accurate Thunder. Archaeops. I feel like I can just stay in here. I do think I want to try and set this back up. Okay. We might be in trouble. <laughs> But I think we'll be okay. There we go. We just needed something that could take the hit. Grr. I guess this is the kind of a thing. I guess this kind of thing is expected from you. Don't think you've won yet. I'm just the first in line. You'll have to take all of us down. Oh, also, I guess you might need this soon, so you can borrow it, okay? Let me get the ruby ring back. But that means I want it back. You better not lose it, or I'll actually beat you up. Got it? Good. Okay. So... We do, it looks like we do have to heal ourselves between fights. I'm gonna save quick just in case we get a heal here. Does not look like we're gonna get a heal here. There's a part of me that was like, that keeps hoping that we're just gonna turn a corner and find one of those little sparkles. Nope. So we do need to save, or uh, heal. So that does show you what I was worried about, as far as being able to set up trigger. Um, I think we'll be okay. But there is some concern. Especially in later sections here. Okay, do I want a Mega for this next one? I feel like I'm not super concerned. But... 
Oh, actually, there is one thing I'm concerned about that I totally missed, which is Volcarona. Um... Now, the other trick here is, I can switch Pokemon's moves out with DMs, but if, unless it's a teachable move that I'm replacing, I can't get it back. <coughs> so, I think I'm okay with removing Pursuit on this. Um, but... That gives us the coverage that I was missing, and I'm actually going to... Give Gore-Tex a Rockyum Z here. This might seem a little weird, but this turns it into a 100% accurate move. So, yeah. <clears throat> I am hopeful that this one's gonna be really easy. Um, like, like the last one, but we'll see. Okay. Save. Welcome, Rafe, to my garden. I believe this encounter has been a long time coming. I've heard so much about your exploits, and I understand that you were a driving force behind me wake er, behind waking me up when I was under Hypno's spell. For this, and everything you've done for my sisters, you have my eternal gratitude. However, I'm afraid there's one complication, as you may be aware. <laughs> well met, Rafe. This is the compromise we've reached. I think you already know that the Reborn's Elite Four are dual-typed anyway. After discussing the issue with the folks down at Grand Hall, they determined there was no harm in splitting those two types between two people. As long as we stick to the six Pokémon limit. It's effectively a typical match. I'm aware that Bennett has been uh, has a somewhat colored history, but I ask that you treat us as one and the same. I do not believe that one's condition in the past should determine their treatment in the present. I could uh, not be so well off if that were not the case either. And damage done to any flower is erased each spring when a new one blooms. Adaptation to the circumstances is ne a necessary trait for any organism. And nature possesses beauty exactly because it is ever-changing. Those who do not change inevitably fall behind in the world. I have no intention of falling behind, and I hope, Rafe, that you do not either. Laura and I will endeavor as partners to adapt to each other's battling style. Show us, Rafe, how you've adapted to your conditions. Okay, Bennett and Laura. So, this is the flower garden field, which we have not seen yet. It basically is like an upgraded version of the other field mechanic that we've done. However... Uh, normally, it is always raining. The big change that we're doing is we're using Ice Pickle to make it so the rain goes away. Bug and grass types are both weak to fire. That's unfortunate. That is also unfortunate. But I'm hoping that we can just go crazy on this.
So we got rid of their advantage, at least. That was one of the goals. Uh, again, the downside here is going to be... Leaf Bounty survived that because they used knockoff, which is pretty impressive. And now we're probably... we'll have to see if we can survive. Um, what am I expecting to come out here? Let's do some switching here. I think this is going to work. Double switch. Intimidate on especially Liveni. And I'm assuming that they're going to attack into Croiton's slot. Yep. Fake out. Um. Z-move, yeah. Still not very effective. It does give them the grassy terrain back, but that's okay. We're in a U-turn. <clears throat> and I think... Everything is blossoming quite nicely for you, isn't it? I hope you cherish this moment. <coughs> we're down to a two-on-one, so I think we're good. Even though they're going to be able to take out one of our Pokémon. Do you know what a polysis is? Yes. And you may already understand how well you're growing. Butterflies and buttercups are not so terribly different. Everyone must find beauty in their own struggle to grow. I hope you do not miss the beauty in yours. One more thing before you go. I owe you this. It should not have left your care in the first place. And mine as well. One half of the pair will hardly do you well. It is better in your hands for the purpose it was meant than in mine as a simple memento. Sapphire bracelets. Your path is forward still. Okay. So, I'm running into one of my concerns, which is the idea of not getting my trick room set up. I have some ways around it that I can mess with. If we need to. But we do just have good Pokemon also. So there's that. And I think before we continue, I'm actually going to go ahead and hold up here. We'll do continue on through the rest of the Elite for next time. Hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, Please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, 
Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.